Swift as my feet can carry me. Look at this. That's God's mark. You drow had already gone off to the tower. But it's nice being a drow, strutting about like your ass is made of diamonds. Praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as gormless as the rest of them. They'll turn on you soon enough. Then you'll be wishing you was in a cage. You'll end up being supper for the spiders or the wolves. Because I'm loyal to McLubbyet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. I can see by that mark on your hand that you're part of a mob. Bollocks to your absolute, and bollocks to you and all. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Spaces, stone walls hugging close, confining. There is a light here, in the tight space beneath the floor. Secret things that shine. Hands off my tongue, you bloody bird. I'm pledged to the absolute, arsenal. Oh, why in the ruddy hells is an axe person? <laughs> Boss Ragslin weren't lying when he said anyone could join the Absolute's ranks. Keep moving. You're either with the Absolute. You feel the rat's impatience to wriggle between the cracks in the floor to the safe space beneath.
You look like you could kick the ass of half the scrubs in here. Bunch of drunken layabouts. No me, though. I'm hard as they come. And I'm itching for another fight. Her ladyship Manthar is trying to figure it out. Studying the war map. You should talk to her. Get the killing started quicker. I've seen everything.
parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. hiding here. of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs, they're prepared to fight for the absolute. What they do ain't exactly fighting. Then they're prepared to die for the absolute. Go on. They're good at. If the gods are watching me. gun. 
Nal Sukok, or Tashokek Doors! I command you, corpse. Speak! Reveal truth to the Absolute! Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga Nal Sukok! The Hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Another drow true soul. As if there weren't enough of you. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Then take it. Absolute knows I am not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. The creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it, I saw it too, and it tells me nothing! Ragslin frowns at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. You're kidding me. Very helpful, squid. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. Visions consume you once more. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Give him the weight! Ragslin pierces your mind, prodding for truth. You, you're no true soul. Trouble, but rotting squid meat! 
No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned Trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the Drow. Minthar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the Absolute! Falling in line. Just what I like to see. No prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Let's not do anything suspicious while it's watching. You have already failed. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. As you gaze deeper, you feel a focus, an intent. You sense no reaction from the unblinking eye. doesn't seem to notice your presence. You should come on the read. How many raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs... They're prepared to fight for the Absolute. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Cesar. I'm back! And I brought a friend. A drow? Tell me, Cesar, did your misadventures take you to the Underdark? They was in some rickety druid grove, mostly full of tieflings, but them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey. ...and massacred the rest. Ah. Oh. Well, the thing about that is... ...they sort of massacred us. But this mug helped me to escape. I say we stick a few holes in him. Show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind... ...as the drow appraises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites. Saza. A true soul. No! A combi? They was in the grove, hanging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. 
My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm up, up. I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. I told you. I was trying to follow orders best I could. Silence, wretch. And remember, you owe your miserable life to this one. I won't cause any more trouble. I swear it. Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the Grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the Grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the Grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the Grove itself, on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. I do not intend to lead a suicidal charge. The goblins are expendable. Not. The Absolute brought you here for a reason. To throw open those gates and crush our enemies. Take care of it, quickly. You are needed here, and my patience wears thin. Get out of my sight. What are we waiting for? Spears are sharp. My lads are all riled up and ready. You have already failed me once. And now you dare to question me? I, uh, I didn't mean nothing by it, your ladyship. village to the east. It's abandoned. Looks that way. Our scout said I'll stop following you, eh? Right? How'd you like that? Something back. It's not our concern. Our brain is elsewhere. <clears throat> Don't want to draw any attention. <clears throat> <clears throat> Do you think the dwarf is ready yet? I'm hungry. The foul stench of slaughter turns suddenly sweet through the rat's nose. Blood smell. Life smell. Not like the great hollow below, which smells only of death. I'm just saying, those eyes. Again? Do you want to become spider food? Delaying. Don't worry about the wolves, KV. They won't eat anything what grows in the ground. Might still kill you, mind. Heading to see our new pet. It didn't seem easy, I'll give it that. I'll tell you, the scrying eye... Seen this mess? Flaming Fist Thuggo took a chunk out me arm last raid out. That last dim we hit, they were guarding some uppity noble and his friends. <laughs> Not very well, mind. Your drow pals carried him off, left the real spoils to us. Something. Or, or at the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brick. It'll be fun. I promise. That's a friendly look. 
lurking shadow. What do you reckon tiefling meat tastes like? You like to see the bear? Just follow the noise. Warwicks have been going crazy for it. Just hope these scraps will satisfy the bunch when they're in this state. Hands off. This one's for the pups. Day three. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. But, but I want to hear him squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. S sorry, sir. I'll open the cage for you. Good. Now they die. So be it. <laughs>
just out of view. Don't waste a step. Steal something, or... legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid-dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. enough to clear still blocked but should be easy enough to clear tempers are rising it's clear not everything you find is at your disposal
could get used to all these raids, and especially all this wheat. See? <laughs> Keep your hands steady. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! We're juicing it up! Boss is thinking of... And it makes funny noises! We made it! Look, look, you'll see! Give me that rock! I'll show ya! What are you? Get lost if you can't stand a bit of rough housing! Release me! Get rid of them! Striking distance. Thank you. 
Let's go. They won't know what bit them. Have to keep going. This should work. to press ahead.
Garrison. the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Oh, 
father preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The mind flares spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. It's no coincidence that you... I've been studying these parasites for a while. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these ta... I'm sorry to say, I can't undo... I didn't find what I came here for. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Indeed. After we dealt with the drow that ambushed us, I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. No, this is... different. Altered. The, I overheard that the cultists are sent... Innocents go in. True souls come out. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could. I have no right to ask more of you. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be pre My thanks. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. You drow relish turning on your own if there's something to be gained. Don't pretend otherwise. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here.